Police are investigating another homicide in 2017. This time, a teen was the victim of a shooting overnight in Roanoke. WSLS 10's Arisha Jones is live tonight. She talked with witnesses and is learning more about the person who died. Arisha? Well, John and Dawn, police are not releasing much information at this time, but they tell me that this is the eighth homicide of the year. Nicholas Lee just graduated high school this month. Dressed in his purple graduation gown, family members say Nicholas Lee had his whole life ahead of him before it was cut short. The 2017 Patrick Henry graduate died after he was shot multiple times. He was found by police lying behind a building at Countryside Estates after midnight Thursday. You know, I hope everything turned out okay with finding out who, who exactly who killed a 17-year-old kid because, you know, I know that's a tragedy for some mother or father. Richard Haskins and his fiance say they were sleeping during the shooting but quickly woke after several bullets hit their building. One made its way inside their bedroom. Woke up to the piercing of glass coming through our, our window and felt pieces of glasses falling on my face. And of course, I jumped up, turned the light on. And the bullets kept coming. Walked to the one and I was going to pull the blind back. About that time, I heard two more, two or three more gunshots and saw someone one, one past the window. Tape covers the spot where the glass shattered. One of the bullets lodged in the wall. The couple says things could have been worse. We okay. And I hope, you know, to find out who it was or what happened, what transpired. That's all I want. As for Nicholas Lee, his sister says he was an amazing guy who was adopted into their family when he was three years old. They say they are devastated by this senseless tragedy. So far, police have no arrest and they're still investigating to find out what led up to the shooting. Live in Roanoke, Arisha Jones, WSLS 10.